How to Grow Miniature Roses Miniature roses are bred to produce smaller plants and flowers, rather than full, size roses. Miniature roses are popular among novice gardeners who want to grow roses that require less care, and gardeners without the space for full, size rose bushes. Unfortunately, many, roses have little or no scent. Steps 1. Decide what type of miniature roses you want to grow. Miniature roses are available in an assortment of colors and varieties, divided into four primary types. Micro, minis are the smallest variety of rose plants, ranging from 8 to 15 inches, 20 to 38 centimeters, tall. The flowers these plants produce grow to 0.25 to 1 inch. 0.6 to 2.5 centimeters. Mini floras have a slightly larger plant and flower size, with plants growing 2 to 4 feet, 0.6 to 1.2 m, tall. Climbers are mini roses that produce trailers. These plants can climb trellises and other supports. Trailers also produce trailing shoots, but unlike climbers, Trailers have a cascading growth habit, which makes them a popular choice for hanging baskets. These also work well for growing on tops of walls with trailers cascading down. 2. Pick a spot for growing miniature roses outdoors. Choose a spot where the miniature rose will not be crowded out or overtaken by other garden plants. Miniature roses are commonly used in edgings, borders, and as accent plants in flower gardens. Pick a place that gets full sun. Some varieties of mini roses will also tolerate partial shade. 3. Amend your garden soil with organic compost if needed. Roses like rich, moist, well-drained soil. 4. Dig a hole in the garden. The hole should be around the same depth as the pot that currently holds the plant. However, if you are planting a mini rose in the garden, dig the hole approximately 1 foot, 0.3 m, wider than the pot. 5. Put the plant in the ground. Remove the rose from the pot carefully and use your fingers to gently loosen its roots. If the roots have become pot, bound, use a knife to score the root ball. Place the plant in the hole, taking care to spread the roots. Fill the hole with soil and pack it down gently to help the roots make good soil contact. 6. Water the rose well throughout the growing season. Water from the base of the plant and avoid getting the foliage wet. 7. Mulch the area around the roses to help the soil retain moisture and control weeds. 8. Fertilize your miniature roses regularly using a fertilizer designed for roses. The combination fertilizer should include N, nitrogen, P, phosphorus, and K, potassium, in a ratio of 5, 9, 6. Deep, water the plants before feeding them. Feed the plants when new leaves are just beginning to grow and again after each heavy bloom. Stop feeding the roses to discourage new growth 6 to 8 weeks before the first frost is expected if you live in a cool climate. 9. Prune miniature roses lightly in late winter or early spring before new growth starts. Cut off dead wood and remove up to one, three of the plant as needed for shaping or to encourage new growth. Unlike full-size roses, minis do not require heavy pruning. 10. Prepare your miniature roses for the winter. If you live in an area with harsh winters, collar the plants and add mulch to help them survive the winter. Tips You can plant miniature roses in pots if you think you'll want to move them. Use a 12 to 15 inch pot, 30 to 38 centimeters, which is large enough to accommodate a mini rose plant's root structure for at least a year. Put a layer of stones on the bottom of the pot to ensure that the plant has good drainage 
and use a high, quality potting mix sold specifically for roses. Warnings Miniature roses are frequently bothered by garden pests such as white flies, spider mites, chafers, and trips. Inspect the plants regularly and spray them with a soap or vinegar solution if needed.